Bro, what? Oh! We are... Yes, behind the train car where you woke up. Wait, what... What is this? Who would put a workshop like this here? Of all places. A lot of brake cartridge. Grief. I went back for that? Lies of P gone woke. That's pretty damn true. If they made this shit in 1996, it would have starred Steven Seagal. The least woke actor of all time. It would have been Steven Seagal fighting James Woods. <laughs> My friend describes himself as a Steven Seagal Democrat. It's a great line. What does it mean, Steven Seagal? Steven Seagal Democrat. Steven Seagal Democrat. It's a great line, isn't it, folks? Co-starring Gina Carano. Okay, I'll plus to you for that one. It's true. She do be in those now. I'm not, I'm not saying they're related, but it is kind of crazy how right after Gina Carano got kicked off The Mandalorian, the show started to suck ass. It's literally just a coincidence, but like the optics are horrible. <laughs> Jay, Jay, don't wait. I, listen, I haven't seen it, okay? But... It was earlier than that? No, bro, season two was fucking sick. It had lots of characters I recognized. Before I was like, oh shit, that's AI. Andor clears. Guy who can't swim from Andor be like, I can't swim, Cossus. We can't swim. I've never seen the show, by the way. I've never seen Andor. But I do know there is a guy who can't swim in the show and is played by Andy Serkis. How do you know that? I don't know. It just shows up on Twitter now and then. Probably one of those, like, disgusting film. Post a screenshot from a movie that made you cry. I can't swim. Process. I was like, damn, it must be, like, crazy that... <laughs> he must be on, like, a water planet or something. I also haven't seen... The Banshees of Inna Sharon, but I did see a tweet of that scene where uh, the dude says, there goes that dream. And the, the quote tweet was just, Riz so bad he killed himself. <laughs> I can appreciate the, the gravitas of the, of the movie, but the quote tweet is also amazing, man. It's, oh, man. Oh. oh, dude. You ever consider saving some chitin for the rest of us, you carapace motherfucker? Looking like a grunt from Halo Reach? He will never know blue men are weak to fire. Bad he killed himself. I, I love the idea. It's it's half that the phrase is funny, and half that I, I absolutely love the idea of like oh what have I done? 
like summarizing all media criticism in such a, a reductive fashion. It's so good. Murderers, pop it amulet. Okay, now that I killed this guy, where do I go? Up. Okay. Up the ladder and around the corner. Shut the shut the frick up, you B word. Up the ladder, down the stairs. This is a joke, right? This is just gonna deposit me where the la the other stairs. Okay, everybody's a critic. Not those. <laughs> oh, these. Thoughts on Funk Soul Brother right about now? I'm for it. I'm for Fat Boy Slim. I'm for Fat Boy at any size, honestly. I think we're due for a for a fat boy slim renaissance. He was on top of the world for a while, and uh, then he kind of faded away. I think I think we're so ready for him to come back. He did not die. I saw a tweet where he was like DJing at a music festival or something. His riz is perfectly adequate. I'm sure he's he's safe. He's still doing his thing. He's still going right here, right now, right here, right now. He's still going. We've come a long, long way together. From the hard times to the good. I have to... Sorry, Jay, this is a little too Frank Sinatra for you, I'm sure. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to praise you like I should. Da, 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 da. He's still going. Here we are now going to the south side. Listen, you piece of crap. That's Moby featuring Gwen Stefani. That is not Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy Slim, Slim did a brimful of ash on the... 45, it's a brim full of ash on the 45. He did that one. Behind the movie screen, belly lava. I don't know what he says. From the morning till the evening till the end of the line. Yeah, he, that's Corner Shop. He just does the remix. No, he did the, he did the song. Corner Shop wishes they could, who the fuck is Corner Shop anyway? It's called the convenience store. Get a clue. These lads are begging for full minutes. Me when right here, right now by Fat Boy Slim comes on. This is kind of my idea of dancing. He's just kind of like moving really fast and then sinking through the floor. <laughs> Faxed? <laughs> the flu shot and the COVID shot, have I have one problem with them, okay? Can I tell you what my problem with them is? Now you just gotta hear me out on this one, okay? Anytime I get sick in the fall or the winter, my ass is like, oh, I should have gotten the flu shot. I should have gotten the COVID booster. And then like, I'm like, I'm so stupid that I didn't get it. And then I get over it and I'm like, I should really get it. Like the, the booster and the flu shot. But when I get the shot, I'm gonna be sick for like 24 hours. And I just got over being sick. So like, I'm not in a rush. And then I just put it off for like six more weeks until I get something again. And then I'm like, ah, oh, I should have got the fucking shot, bro. 
Which is why I think instead of like having to go to the pharmacy to get the vaccine, they should just like fly low over population centers and just like dose us with it while we're going about our normal days. Because that way I wouldn't have to like make an appointment and make like excuses and stuff like that. Instead, they could just like juice me up on my way to Cobb's bread or whatever. <laughs> Where am I going? Get me on. What the hell? What have you what have you done, man? Yeah, maybe I'll hand over a freaking full minutes for you, robber weasel. When will he use his full minutes annies? Been pretty quiet since I started using the full minutes. Welcome to the city of the future. Okay. And the future is death. Hmm. Threw their shit at me? Do you he they healed? Okay, one tap, walk away. We tap once, we walk away. You tap me once, I walk away. You don't think I got the sauce? I was, I was, the sauce was, I came pre-sauced. Like a damn lasagna. You don't need extra sauce. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you got about, about an eighth of a second to react to the red on that one. I understand how it is. Yo, she's spitting? I'm dead. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Welcome to the city of the future. And if by the future, I mean you're going to die. Down the stairs. Several platforms away. I don't, why is this written like a stand-up joke? I know there was a collapse, but why did they have to cut off communication? Please let us out! Jerry, when he has to respect his two-week voluntary self-quarantine after testing positive for the novel coronavirus in June 2020. Let me out of here! There's only so much DoorDash a guy can order! Jerry, I have COVID. <laughs> Where you going, lady? Oh, big mistake. Okay, it does less of a mistake. Die this. Lies of P tutorial be like red attacks are undodgeable. You have to parry them. So it turns out that was a lie. Yeah, take your shit out. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, take your shit out. Yeah. Oh, you got me? Oh, that, that was a backstab if I've ever seen one, man. I don't know why you're playing so coy. <laughs> Fuck you! It's more repetitive than a Fat Boy Slim song.
Take your shit out. My girl, after coming back from mimosa brunch? What the hell are you... This is vile. True, but vile. You didn't need to know about all that. Girlfriend has an indelicate manner of speaking. <laughs> Make it happen. I want an extra pancake. Make it happen. <laughs> Boomer reactions. In Dark Souls 1, that's a, that's a chain KO right there. Who says Naughty Dog doesn't have good writing? Uh oh. Oh, you, you're so lucky that they ported Miyazaki's busted ass backstab system? God. Driving me crazy. I just can't see. I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. Whoa, crazy, but I'm feeling all right. Baby thinking of you keeps me up all night. You know what I'm talking about? Cody Rigsby, Britney Spears. Peloton, I don't listen to Britney Spears. You're missing a, a Britney Spears golden age. She's she just released her autobiography. Apparently. Best song named Crazy? I mean, I think you gotta give it up to Gnarls Barkley. Say Gnarls Barkley probably clears. Casey and JoJo are in the mix. Willie Nelson? Is that like a Patsy Klein cover? I don't like, and you, you could be in the right for this, by the way, but I don't like when you're like, hey, here's a good song. And then motherfuckers are like, oh, you think that's good? Here's some shit that came out in like the 17th century. Yeah, here's some shit from the damn Tin Pan Alley. I'm like, if I wanted to hear that shit, I would go to my grandma's house. Can you please... It's like you... <laughs> Sorry. You ever notice, I see this sometimes because there's a lot of uh, Zoomers that follow me. And they're, they're still in that age group where like they're talking about music a lot. I, I, it's not like you necessarily grow out of it, but like you wouldn't catch most like 34 year olds online being like, here's a collage of my... Actually, that's not true. There's a lot of millennials out there Facebook posting for sure. But it is crazy to look at. Look, looking at the collages that people make of like what they call the best albums ever, I'm like, it's amazing how much great music was released between 2013 and last year, and how fucking horrible, I guess, music was from the year negative 100,000 until like the year that you turned 14. It's amazing. You really, you don't have one album from like the 80s in there? You, you can't, like, talking heads remain in light. You couldn't just sneak it in there for a little bit of street cred? Back in my day, everyone would always be like, you know, okay, computer. Shoots too narrow by the shins. The moon in Antarctica by Modest Mouse. But then you would always be like, and pet sounds. And the future is death. 
Or you throw in like some Miles Davis or something like that. I'm out of Estus. It looks like you're gonna have I'm gonna have to Estus. I'll call her a weasel. Moon in Antarctica, so good. 30 minute Isaac Brock shit luck ride. This bike is definitely going nowhere. Scrammy, 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 scrammy. Every teenager thinks they have great taste when they play Fly Me to the Moon. Yeah, but have you considered. Uh, Swag is a noun and class is a verb. It takes work. Huge whiff. Huge whiff. Now you're on fire. Now I own you. Yeah, I just don't believe you have that kind of poise. You're 12 years old. Okay, that was kind of sick with it, though. You're on fire. You're on fire. I'm gonna get you. I'm still gonna get you. Don't don't even worry about all of that. I knew it. Quick heal. Oh, that's got a sting. kind of street cred do I get for only listening to Bon Jovi and J-pop? J? Can we get this man the key to the city? City? No, city. <laughs> city of the future. In a city where everything is upside down. The In a city room, where everything is upside down. What the hell was that, dude? She fucking did a inspector gadget on me. Did you see that? <laughs> what was that? Sit him. Sit him is the opposite of standing. So true. I got one thing to say to you. What happened to Champion Victor? His ass got sent to the Chokey like, I don't know, four hours ago. You don't even know about Shrek. We sent their ass to the Chokey too. And some waffle fries. You luck, little lamb. Hand over all you got. Okay, I'm gonna pair you instead. How does that strike you? Come on over. Come on over, baby. I, boy, I've got something that I think that you should know. I've got a place for you, a place I think that you should go. Your boy is here. He has arrived at your house. He wants to know what, where to leave the, uh, I don't know the words to come over here, baby. All I want is you by... Christina Aguilera. I'm realizing I only know the lyrics to Genie in a Bottle. I only know that it seems like I've been locked up tight for a century of lonely nights waiting for someone to release me. You're stealing my looks and blowing kisses my way, but that don't mean I want to do it today. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Something like that, but my body's saying, let's go. If you want to be with me, 
baby, there's a price to pay. I'm a genie inside of a bottle. <laughs> oh, man. Next. Ooh. It's a tough enemy, man. Jennifer Coolidge. What is that a was that a reference to? Jennifer Coolidge. I think of Jennifer Coolidge. I think of of Stifler's mom, and I think of um, the GIF image of her shooting a gun wildly. Hey, did you see the the sports gambling video of Carlos Boozer? But um, his beard looks like it was taken from an Xbox Live avatar. What up with that? It's... <laughs> Can you get like your beard microbladed? Is that what happened there? Or does he just have like really, really thick hair to the point where maybe it's kind of working against him? Oh, that's a new one. Boozer used to use that head paint when he was in the league. <laughs> oh, man. The head paint. Head paint to paint you on. Head paint, I'll paint on anyone. <laughs> he was pretty good, right? He played for the Nuggets, is that right? I feel like Carlos Boozer played for the Nuggets. Nope, the Bulls? Really? The Jazz, the Nuggets of the West. The Nuggets are in the West. Yeah, but they're not as West as Utah, probably. Correct my geography if you must. I hate to let you in on all the inside jokes I have with my daughter, but this NPC is definitely making me laugh every time she says the future. I have no idea where my daughter got this from, but when we were swimming, she would always say like, let me swim on your back. So she would like go like piggyback style on my back. And then whenever I would swim, she would go, the future. <laughs> And I started saying it because it was funny, but I, I don't know where the fuck she got it from. I, I have no idea. Get punished on? Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. There we go. She is using the alien from Toy Story voice when she says it. It's, it's very true. Spongebob or Toy Story Aliens? The claw. I just don't know why she's saying it. Oh no, Scram! It's the claw! I'm not fucking around. I'm not. Hey, can we get that Sufian Stevens image in here now? I love your take on Toy Story 4. You know, we got a, a noted Toy Story 4 enjoyer in the chat in the form of Jay. Jay Wolves at my door. What's going on here? He is a noted Toy Story 4. I wouldn't say acolyte, because I'm sure he's got other stuff going on in his life. But he does enjoy it. Stan? No, I don't think so. 
I think he's a Stan. What the hell's toy? What the fuck? The fly bites back, my man? What the hell's Toy Story 5 gonna be about, though? I uh, saw, so I'm sure it'll be like an 8 out of 10. They got a good track record. I'm sure if, if you can leave your video essay brain at the door and be like, this movie has no reason to exist except for profit, then, like, when you watch the movie, you'll probably have a good time. And then after the movie, you'll be like, that was pretty good. And then someone will come out with a video essay that's like, actually, it's an affront to, like, the art of cinema. And it ruined the legacy of Pixar. And then you'll be like, actually, it's an affront to cinema that ruined the legacy of Pixar. I know how it goes. Is this where we're going, man? I guess. I mean, it'll be fine, but five movies is five movies. I mean, this shit started in 1996, man. It's been 27 years. Your ass better not be like a One Piece enjoyer. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with these lads, just being honest with you. But plus, like, all Pixar movies are the same anyway. It's always like this fucking, what if shit that was not real was real, plus the mom has a fucking whole, she's towing a bakery behind her for some reason. The dad's sitting on the shorts, or sitting on the couch in shorts with his, like, the outline of his hog throwing, showing through his gray sweatpants, and you're like, what the fuck are we doing here? This shit is rated G? Mom's pulling the damn dump truck into town. And then they're like, what was that movie about? Oh, it's fucking, what if water and fire fell in love? And you're like, I didn't get any of that shit at all. <laughs> I didn't catch that in the slightest. I'm going to die. Cliffy <laughs> B tweet. It is. OMG, it is. Sorry, I gotta beat your ass for a minute so that I can get an Estus. My weapon, it's broken. Anyway. Me when I see my favorite streamer at TwitchCon. So I'm thinking of that video of the guy who's like, uh, we've exchanged some messages. I just wanted to make sure it was the real you. I can't be too careful. And then the lady's like, let's look at the profile. Yeah, that's not me. And he's like, <laughs> Oh, man. What's going on in here, though? Oh, I see. Crap. Crap sat alone in a boggy marsh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm not dealing with decay. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. Honestly, I'm glad that Apollo's not gonna play this. Because if he got to this part, he would be mad at me. Not everyone's as easy going as I am. Feeling good about the White Caps' chances in the playoffs? They're in the play. I thought they were like the worst uh, team in MLS or something like that. Are we so back? Hi, Tomo. Wow. 
Can't be like. Meh. Can't be like. Meh. You have to beat the mini boss. Okay, I can do that. Start with a little full minis. Canucks making the playoffs this year. Team looks okay right now, but it's only been six games. We've had great six game stretches in the past. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not a true believer, but I'm also not like a hockey general manager. So I'm just like, I look at our roster and I'm like, don't get me wrong. I got respect for the Pedersons. I got respect for the Quinn Hughes's. But then I'm like, who the fuck is the Giuseppe? There's no, I'm just like, I don't, I just don't see us getting a chip with a dude named D Giuseppe on our second line. It's just not a, doesn't strike me as a hockey name. We need like a Bronchi or something like that. If we can get like a, a second line winger named Bronchi, then I'd be like, holy shit. That's a truculent dude right there. That's, that's the, that's a classic third line grinder's name right there. Until we get Bronchi, I just don't trust us. <laughs> I'm not gonna let myself be tricked again. Okay. <clears throat> you got some on New Jersey. I mean, Jack Hughes, great. It's just a great football name in general. You got others, I'm sure. Jack Hughes, so true. Jesper Bratt, great hockey name. I just look at our roster and I'm like, Pfft. I'm just not sure if I, I'm just on a nomenclatural basis. I'm not sure if I see it quite frankly. Kiln of the First Flame. Collapsing Krat. Sounds like some shit you Whoa. get when you worked in a mine for this too used long. To be the workshop's transportation base close to Krat's central station. Maybe that's why the puppets were so hell bent on attacking the place during the frenzy. But <laughs> Dan named this myself. area. Does have a certain Danness to it? To our list of and in Holy frick! Are you telling me an earthquake happened in this joint? I'm glad we weren't here when that took place. Okay, you're easy unbackstabbable. Just kidding. I just attack him. Literally just attack him. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, good. What exactly does Full Menace do? It shoots fucking electricity. But like not a lot of it. You could upgrade it. It's it's detritus. If it wants to be upgraded, it should be good to begin with. It makes sense. Just think about it. Fucking stall. Stall Andy. Some of us are good at the game without having to stall. Hang on, my DoorDash is here. That was smart. <laughs> Not a hater, by the way. I'm just saying! You can always get a free joke with my DoorDashes here. 
It's like when the comedians get heckled and then they reply like, you don't see me coming to your job and slapping the dick out of your mouth. And then the audience goes like, oh, it's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. It's just a freebie and you got to take the freebies when you get them. It would be hilarious if there, they, they did that classic little bit, but then, like, the dude who was heckling was like, how did you know I work at the dick-sucking factory? You know? Wait a minute. That's privileged information. I got, like, oh, that's confidential info, bro. I'm level 5 security clearance at the... Lockheed Martin dick sucking factory. On, I've, I just found out six more secret ways to please your man. We sold that information to Cosmo. I gotta, now I gotta change careers. Sorry, boss, my cover's blown. Jimmy Carr knows I work at the dick sucking factory. Yeah, I don't know how he figured it out. He's really smart and funny. <laughs> no man. Oh, at least I don't have to go that way anymore. Do you always carry the groceries on one trip? Nah, it's hard now, cause like Go to the grocery store, I have to pick up my kid up from daycare. You got like, you know, a lunch bag. I'm just gonna die. Yep. Um, you got like a backpack, a lunch bag, your kid's coat, two bags of groceries, your keys, like... Costco does make it impossible too. Not only because you usually buy a lot of shit, but because they don't... Like there's no bags that have been invented that can fit all the shit, right? So like... You can't really pack your, your stuff up. So I just take multiple trips, but like, it's kind of easier in our new place. I, I'm, I'm privileged to be able to take two trips without having to wait for like an elevator to go down to like a parking garage. And then there's like somebody's moving in like a couch that they just bought from Craigslist or something like that. And then I don't know if anyone here has ever lived in a building with like multiple elevators. It might sound awesome. For some, we used to live in a building with one elevator that shit worked 24-7, 365. We moved into a building that had three elevators. Fucking ouch, bro. Uh, one of them was broken at all times. And it was like, it wasn't like, oh, you can always rely on elevator three. It was like, you'd get home and you'd be like, which one's fucked up today? And they'd be like, elevator two. Somebody put chewing gum into the damn flux capacitor. Why am I standing here? I'm still standing here even though I shouldn't be. I'll kick him into the goo. I ain't never seen that before. Time traveling elevator. My reaction when there's no earthly way of knowing just which way that we are going. Also, I don't... It's been a while. I, I could do an hour of elevator-based humor. Motherfucker. <laughs> the crystals. Sorry, I forgot the crystals. But the same way that we got to talk to people who get on the train and be like, your life would be 10 times easier if you just waited for people to get off the train before you tried to shove your way onto the train. Like, it's, it's 
I, I thought it was common sense, but apparently there's a lot of adults that haven't figured that little technique out yet. Then the, the other one is, there's a lot of motherfuckers who need to pay attention for literally the three seconds it takes the elevator to get to where you're going. The number of times I'll be, I would be like standing in the lobby of our old building after hitting the elevator button, and then the elevator doors would open, and it would be like first floor, and then I'd wait two seconds, and then nobody would come out. So I'd try to get in the elevator, and then like I see that there's a person in there, and then as soon as the doors like start to close, they're like, wait, what the fuck? This is my floor! I'm like, bro, you came from four to one. Like, get Adderall or something. It's, it, it, it's not like it was a long journey. You forgot what your purpose here was. Like, okay, you got me, kid. Good work. That's on escalators. Escalator going up, no problem. Escalator going down, kind of scary. It's also hard with a toddler, which is like, I know a lot of my content is being filtered through that lens lately, but like, I can't rely on my toddler to take a confident step at the same time that I do. So sometimes like you're like three, two, one, go, and you take a step, but she doesn't take a step. And then your ass is on like the, the staircase treadmill trying to be like, go, 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 like walking backwards. Trying to stay in the same spot, like pulling her, but hoping she doesn't fall into the, the teeth. Just pick her up. Yeah, but at some point she's got to learn, right? She's got to get like some confidence. Oh. <laughs> they didn't send their best when they were making this section of the game. They got the Dark Souls 2 team on this part. Dark Souls 2 is good. Okay, H-Bomber guy. How about you get some original opinions? Watch this. <laughs> I really thought we could make it. <laughs> <laughs> me when you disagree with me open parentheses there's a prominent video essay that agrees with you I'm just sending it I'm sending it the whole fucking way oh 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 oh, oh see ya wouldn't want to be it. Thankfully, I'm not. See if I care. You ain't got the range, little bro. Do you prefer skibbity toilets or the cameraman? Oh, well, it's an easy answer. I prefer the cameraman because the cameramen play everybody wants to rule the world, right? What the hell am I hidden? Skibbity toilet is so September. <laughs> True, though, probably, I'm guessing. It's maybe more like June? I don't know. Kid. Guy who lied about having a girlfriend panicking, trying to come up with her name. Yeah, yeah, I've got a girlfriend. Her name is, he looks around the room. Uh, her name is Skibbity. Skibbity, uh, he, he's in the bathroom. Skibbity toilet. Yeah, that's right. Skibbity toilet. All right, well, you can tell Miss Skibbity Toilet that she's invited to dinner at our house anytime. But here's the wrinkle. 
dad is a cameraman. So their relationship is doomed from the start. It's like the Capulets and the Montagues. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a room where the lights won't find you. Hold it. <laughs> Walls come tumbling down. If they do, I'll be right behind you. Know what I'm saying? Scrammy do scrammy do be do scrammy do do be do scrammy do be do do do. Works well with your Zoomer Shakespeare joke. I forgot about that one. Zoomers be like Romeo, Romeo, where Fortnite at Romeo? That's still an underappreciated classic, in my opinion. Where Fortnite at Romeo? Oh man, what the? What in the Crispin Glover is this? Quite the move you got there. Fable arts and an infusion? I know, I'm getting good at the game now. It's kind of crazy. Bro, Smash Bros. players, when they um, win on time, don't DQ me, bro. There's a lot of discourse over that these days. Very interesting. Very interesting, the Smash community. Minus two, minus two. Holy shit, I'm going Kenneth Branagh mode. Why not just say Smash Bros. players when someone plays Donkey Kong? Yeah, but that would require Donkey Kong to be a scary character in any game other than in Nintendo 64 Smash Bros. Like, the joke doesn't make... It, it's not cogent. Bro, the premise of your joke doesn't line up with reality. That's cringe. Bro, did you hear that Hassan flew to Ohio to interview... He flew to Skibbity, Ohio to interview Big Chungus? Fucking bubble man. I would chill out, bro. You honestly look like you're made of bubbles. Great argument. Unfortunately, you're made of bubbles. Okay, bubbles got hands. What's your Mount Rushmore of classic rock bands? I have to say... George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. Because classic rock is real life. It's classic rock's world and we're living in it. Where's Donald Trump? Federal... No, he's out on bail. He just shows up every day, right? Can I say something? If I was definitely going to be found guilty, you would not catch my ass showing up to court. My ass would be gone 100%. What's the point of sticking around? So true. <laughs> I mean, we're really going to do all this?
Yeah, but he wants to be president again. He can't leave. Bro, we can just work remote like like the rest of us. It's 2023. Like, use your imagination a little bit. Do not let NL out on bail. You can let me out on bail if I'm innocent. If I obviously did that shit, do not let me out on bail. Hell no, brother. Biden's giving the nation a Zoom call. Listen, Jack. How do I make my background look like I'm in the Oval Office? <laughs> you're... Joe, you're muted. You're muted. Joe, Joe, you're, you hit the mute button again. fun, right? What if the president was a fucking blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. What if the president was a fucking, wouldn't it be cool? What if the president was a fucking, what if, what if Jerry Seinfeld was the president and George was the vice president? George! Nikita Khrushchev's calling my bluff, George! This isn't just a controversy anymore. It's a full-on crisis. Cuban Missile Crisis, Jerry? Cuban Missile Crisis, George! Yes, it's not cause you Costanza did. Get me the Secretary of State, Kramer runs in. Yay. Yeah. It's just, it's automatic at this point. What if God was a Funko Pop? Yep. Nah. <laughs> okay, Bill Bubble. Baggins. Fucking Mr. Attacky. <laughs> He's really strong. Good one. I'm trying to come up with a devastating insult. I'm not used to streaming this. Holy cow, I gotta leave in 10 minutes. Person who's watched 100 NL streams. Whoa, you gotta see this NL stream. It's unhinged. Person who's watched 1,000 NL streams. Good stream today, Pharaoh. What do you mean I'm washed past three? Did you not see me kick the shit out of the Shrek boss, bro? I, I ruined his life. Oh, you're in a world of hurt. Could use another Coke Zero, though, to be honest. You can just roll through it. He's old and it's almost his bedtime. Like, I wish my bedtime was fucking earlier, man. My kid has been going to bed at nine and not falling asleep until midnight. Kate and I, it was like that scene from Oppenheimer. Now, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen some screen caps. You know the one where the, the dude from the second Planet of the Apes movie is like browbeating 
Oppenheimer with the hue turned way up or the, the brightness turned way up and then Oppenheimer's like sweating and like holding his face like this. That was Caden me at midnight last night when my daughter wasn't asleep. And we're like, you have to go to bed. She's like, I want a book. We're like, did you or did you not want a book two hours ago and receive one? And she was like, things are going to change around here, Oppie. It's pissing me off. Like, go to bed, bro. My little bedtime. <laughs> oh no, my, <laughs> my, my daughter when she says she's tired in the morning when she didn't go to sleep at night. I know my way around. I know my way. I don't even want to talk to you. Boss weapon. At some point in many ways, including the physical. Whatever choice you Whatever choice you make, I've um Is it yeah, let's just make the clip better. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. Women be like, whatever choice you make, I'll wait for you. Then all of a sudden you're like, how about pizza? And she's like, eh, I'm not really feeling pizza tonight. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Choice you make. So true. <laughs> it's fucking... It's, it's not false, bro. I'm not saying it's true, but it's not false. You got me all wrong. I'm not saying that women don't like pizza. I am saying that women are like... I don't know what I'm feeling. Or like, they'll be like, I could eat anything. Why don't you choose tonight? And you're like, okay, how about X? And they're like, mm, anything but that. It doesn't even matter what X is, bro. Daryl, I named seven un other restaurants. No, Greg. Finally, I suggested Taylor's, a place I knew she wanted to go anyway. I walk in the house. Tell me my ass ain't sitting in the car at 6.30. I get up. I walk in the house. She's stepping out the damn shower like, can I help you? The hell? An even taller man? Okay, you can't tell me that this dude isn't from Bloodborne. Also, what am I doing? I can't be here. I gotta go, man. I gotta pick up my daughter from daycare. <laughs> that is a Bloodborne guy. All right, slash marker. Hang on, chat. My daycare order's ready. All right, time to work now. 